Amidst the haunting embrace of a relentless snowstorm, a chilling enigma unfolds, unveiling a tale of suspense, treachery, and intrigue. The sinister hunt in the snowstorm thrusts us into a world where shadows dance upon the icy landscape, and every gust of wind carries secrets untold. As the tempest rages on, it reveals not only the footprints of those who dare to venture into the heart of the storm, but also the hidden motives that drive them. In this frigid abyss, where danger lurks beneath the pristine white, the pursuit of truth becomes a harrowing journey, and survival hinges upon deciphering the cryptic clues that nature and man lay before the intrepid souls caught in this sinister hunt. In the days when my friends and I were young, we reveled in the exhilarating thrill of playing manhunt in the midst of a snowstorm. Our laughter would ring out as we darted between trees, our footprints muddling the pristine white canvas of snow. But one fateful winter, as the blizzard howled around us, our innocent game transformed into a nightmarish encounter that still chills me to the bone. As the snow swirled around us, I took cover in a thicket, my heart racing with anticipation. My teammates were out there, experts in the art of evasion, while our pursuers roamed the winter landscape. The world was hushed and eerie, cloaked in a frozen shroud that seemed to amplify every sound. It was during this tense hunt that my friend, Sam, vanished into the white abyss. All that remained were peculiar tracks in the snow, twisted and contorted like the markings of some enigmatic creature. Driven by equal parts curiosity and concern, I followed those cryptic tracks, each step sinking me further into a haunting mystery. The tracks led me to a dilapidated house, its windows shattered and its facade cloaked in shadows. A sense of dread gripped me, as though the very air around the place was charged with malevolence. As I peered into the darkness within, a gnawing realization struck me, Dan, another member of our group, could have been drawn into this ominous place. Fear gripping my heart, I retreated from the abyssal house and raced back to my friend's home, desperate for their aid. My words stumbled forth as I recounted my discovery, the urgency in my voice prompting immediate action. We dialed the police, our breath hitching in the frigid air as we awaited their arrival. With blue and red lights cutting through the storm, the police descended upon our snow-covered neighborhood, their sirens wailing in stark contrast to the silence that had previously held sway. Yet, it was my friend's father who emerged as our unlikely hero. Armed with a gun and determination etched into his features, he bravely entered the enigmatic house. Inside, the darkness seemed to constrict around him like a vice. Every creak and whisper was magnified in the stillness and an overwhelming sense of dread permeated the air. Time crawled by in torturous seconds as we waited, the weight of dread tightening its grip on our hearts. Finally, a figure emerged from the shadows, Dan in his arms, battered and unconscious. The room's atmosphere reeked of malevolence and terror, and we understood that something sinister had transpired within those walls. The stranger responsible for Dan's injuries had slipped away like a shadow, leaving behind only the haunting echoes of his presence. The aftermath of that night forever imprinted upon us the unsettling truth that danger can lurk within the most innocent of activities. The snowstorm, which had once been a backdrop for our carefree games, had transformed into a chilling stage for a sinister encounter. And as we grew older, we couldn't shake the feeling that the storm had been a harbinger of the darkness that could take hold even in the most innocuous of moments. In the years that followed, the memory of that winter night lingered like a ghost, casting a shadow over our friendship. Sam, though eventually found safe, was never the same. The experience had etched a haunted look in his eyes, a silent testimony to the horrors he had witnessed amidst the snow-covered landscape. Our once joyful gatherings took on a somber tone, as the innocence of our youth collided with the harsh reality of the world beyond our games. As we grew older, we often found ourselves drawn back to that eerie house, 
now abandoned and steeped in legends of its own. Some claimed it was haunted by the spirits of those who had fallen victim to its malevolence. Others whispered of a dark figure that still roamed the shadows, its presence palpable even in broad daylight. The sinister hunt in the snowstorm became a cautionary tale we shared with newcomers, a reminder that the beauty of a winter landscape could mask dangers that lay beneath the surface. We were no longer the carefree children reveling in the joy of the hunt. Instead, we were marked by the knowledge that darkness could take root in the most unexpected corners of our lives. And so, with each passing winter, as the snow fell and the world transformed into a glistening wonderland, we couldn't help but remember the night when our innocent game turned into a sinister dance with the unknown. The chilling enigma of that winter still echoes in our minds, a reminder that even amidst the haunting embrace of a snowstorm, secrets, treachery, and intrigue can flourish, forever changing the landscape of our lives. Fellow Adventurers of the Unknown Today, we're about to embark on a journey that will unravel a mystery buried deep within the icy embrace of nature. Get ready to experience the cabin's chilling secret, a tale that will send shivers down your spine. Imagine a picturesque log cabin nestled amidst the snow-covered woods. A haven of coziness, perfect for escaping the cold grasp of winter. But what if this serene facade hides something far more sinister? In this chilling narrative, we'll step into a story that blurs the lines between the idyllic and the inexplicable. A tale that starts with a simple getaway, a couple seeking solitude and creativity in the heart of nature. But as the blizzard rages outside and the isolation takes hold, unease settles in. What happens when the cabin's four walls, once a refuge, become a prison of uncertainty? Strange footprints leading to the doorstep, an eerie knock on the window, and the palpable sense that someone or something is watching. What's lurking in the darkness beyond the cabin's walls? As we venture deeper into the cabin's chilling secret, we'll uncover the layers of fear, suspicion, and the unknown. And just when you think you've unraveled the truth, a startling revelation awaits. So, my fellow adventurers, get ready to immerse yourself in the cabin's chilling secret. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, because you won't want to miss this hair-raising journey into the heart of the winter wilderness. And remember, not everything that's hidden beneath the snow is as innocent as it seems. My name is Lucas, and I'm a photographer with a passion for capturing the essence of nature. Last year, my wife Lily and I embarked on a journey to the serene Colorado mountains for an art project that promised to blend the beauty of the landscape with our creativity. Lily, an ardent skier, convinced me to sprinkle some skiing into our adventure. Our accommodation options were a luxurious ski resort or a secluded private log cabin. The latter held a romantic allure and was lighter on our budget, sealing our choice. The cabin we rented exuded rustic charm, nestled under a canopy of snow-covered trees. Its single-floor layout featured a cozy two-person bedroom, a snug living room, a well-equipped kitchen, and a compact bathroom. Despite its intimate size, the prospect of being snowed in within the warm embrace of a log cabin during a blizzard held a magnetic appeal. However, the storm played spoil sport, disrupting the cable signal and leaving us with little to do indoors. One evening, as the day's light began to fade, I decided to seize the fading daylight and venture outside to capture the blizzard's ethereal beauty. Informing Lily of my brief departure, I bundled up in winter gear and headed out, assuring her I'd be back within a mere ten minutes. The instant the door closed behind me, my senses prickled as my eyes landed on a set of footprints etched in the snow leading to our cabin's entrance. However, what sent a shiver down my spine was the realization that these footprints emerged from the cabin itself and then doubled back. An eerie feeling slithered up my spine, 
but I chose not to share my discovery with Lily, not wanting to needlessly disturb her. The footprints, like breadcrumbs of intrigue, guided me to the bedroom window where Lily was engrossed in her iPad. This unsettling observation compelled me to continue following the enigmatic trail to the living room window on the opposite side. A chill crawled down my neck as I comprehended that someone had been lurking around our cabin in the storm's embrace. Compelled by equal parts curiosity and caution, I pressed on through the snow, eventually encountering a figure cloaked in a black coat, his stance frozen as the snowflakes accumulated upon him. Every fiber of my being screamed to retreat, and I obeyed, treading softly to put distance between us. Back within the cabin's sanctuary, I recounted my unsettling encounter to Lily. Concern clouded her eyes, and we made an unspoken pact to stay within our haven for the night. Time flowed sluggishly as we sought solace in our iPads and each other's company, the storm's cacophony a constant backdrop. A knock on the bedroom window yanked us from our unease, the sound cutting through the air like a blade of terror. Swiftly, we abandoned our possessions and sought refuge in the shelter of a nearby ski resort, leaving our cabin and its enigmatic visitor behind. Returning to the cabin the following day, a haunting emptiness had settled within. Our belongings remained untouched yet the prince in the snow told no tale of the shadowy figure that had intruded upon our haven. Unanswered questions nodded us as we collected our belongings, eager to put distance between ourselves and the unsettling cabin. The memory of that chilling night lingers, a cryptic enigma that will forever haunt our thoughts. And as I continue capturing nature's beauty through my lens, I can't help but wonder if the mountains still guard the secrets of that blizzard-buried encounter. Each time the snow falls, I'm reminded of the footsteps that led to a revelation more chilling than the winter air, leading me to wonder if the cabin's walls hold a sinister secret, hidden in the snow-covered silence of the mountains. Hey there, folks! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a spine-chilling story that will send shivers down your spine. Brace yourselves as we delve into the unwelcome visitor in the blizzard, a tale of mystery, fear, and the unexpected. Imagine being in a secluded log cabin during a blizzard, where the tranquility of the snow-covered landscape masks a lurking danger. It all started with a simple trip, an art project, and a choice between a ski resort and a private cabin. But what happens when a blizzard interferes with your plans, leaving you with nothing but the howling wind and unsettling silence? The cozy cabin turns from a sanctuary into a place of paranoia and fear. And then, footprints in the snow, footprints that lead to the very window where your loved one sits. The realization that someone might be watching, someone who shouldn't be there, sends a chill down your spine. But that's not all. As the night unfolds, the chilling knocks on the window intensify the dread. Every sound becomes a potential threat, and the safe haven becomes a trap. A decision to leave seems to be the only choice, but can you escape when the unknown lingers in the blizzard outside? What happens when you return the next day to collect your belongings, only to find that the visitor has vanished without a trace? Join us on this gripping journey as we unravel the unwelcome visitor in the blizzard. It's a story that reminds us that even the most serene landscapes can hide dark secrets, and that danger can emerge from the most unexpected places. Back when I was just 17, the world outside was blanketed in snow during a relentless blizzard. It was on this chilling winter night that I decided to experiment with pot for the very first time. As the smoke swirled around me, the room seemed to take on an otherworldly aura. Little did I know that this night would soon turn into a living nightmare. Amidst my hazy days, a muffled tapping sound echoed from the front door. Curiosity and unease tangled within me as I cautiously approached the peephole. There, standing on the porch, 
was a figure out of place, a disheveled and underdressed stranger. A shiver crawled down my spine, and my mind raced with fear-fueled questions. My instincts told me to remain hidden, so I tiptoed back to my room. As the hours ticked away and the storm's howls grew louder, I continued my self-indulgent exploration. But then, an unexpected thud against my window shattered my tranquility. Panic surged through my veins, and I fumbled to extinguish the lights, plunging the room into darkness. I clung to my bedroom, my heart beats a drumroll of terror. Sleep was elusive, but exhaustion finally overtook me. Just as I began to drift into uneasy slumber, a chilling sensation crawled across my skin. My eyes snapped open, adjusting to the darkness. There, behind the cracked door, was a shadowy figure, hauntingly silhouetted by the feeble moonlight. My breath caught in my throat as our eyes met, mine wide with fear, is obscured by a hood. A guttural scream tore from my lips as instinct took over. I surged forward, all traces of sleep and intoxication vanishing in an instant. Adrenaline coursed through me as I pushed with all my might, the intruder stumbling backwards. The door slammed shut, sealing him out of my sanctuary. The phone trembled in my hands as I dialed 911, my voice quivering as I described the threat in my home. Sirens wailed through the night, drawing closer with each passing second. Red and blue lights danced in the blizzard, illuminating the snow-covered landscape. Officers stormed into my home, their presence a lifeline of safety. Together, we apprehended the intruder, a man whose intentions remained shrouded in mystery. His eyes held a glint of madness, a darkness that sent shivers down my spine. They led him away, his silhouette receding into the night. In the aftermath, a mixture of emotions swirled within me. Fear, relief, anger, and even a faint trace of sympathy for the lost soul who had invaded my haven. As the clock ticked onward, I realized that this nightmarish encounter would forever be etched into my memory, a reminder that even in the midst of serenity, darkness can creep in, leaving an indelible mark on our lives. The blizzard once a symbol of pristine beauty, had now become a backdrop for a terror that could breach even the confines of my safe space. The snowflakes that had once seemed like delicate miracles now fell with an eerie weight, as if carrying with them the memory of that haunting night. And as subsequent winters came and went, I couldn't help but feel a shiver of unease whenever the first flakes began to fall, a reminder that even the most innocent moments can be twisted into something sinister by the cruel hand of fate.